perpendicular bisector theorem. Dustin, I do not think that what Mr. Padgett wants you to be doing right now. During the perpendicular bisector theorem, um, what you guys are going to do is, again, let's develop. If we have a perpendicular bisector, there's something that's special that it tells us. All right? So let's go and create that. So we have our line L, and we have M, and we have N. We know those are equal, and we know we've created a right angle. So that's a perpendicular bisector. L is the perpendicular bisector. So if we have a point x on our perpendicular point, so the perpendicular bisector says if there, um, well, not if there, but yeah, if there is a point on the perpendicular bisector. So if there's a point on this perpendicular bisector, then what it tells us is that point is equidistant to the endpoints of our segment. Equidistance means it's equal distance. So this point is equal distances to our point N. Just like where it intersects it, right? It intersected it at what, point P? Just like it intersected it here, that's equal to both points. Well, if I have a point, any point on this line is going to be equal distance to my endpoints. Yes, John? So why wouldn't you just call it the line that intersects with another line? That forms a right angle. That's what we call a perpendicular bisector. Well, why call it a perpendicular bisector? Because it bisects it and it's perpendicular. Two words instead of a whole sentence, like you said, right? But it's the same thing. Um, is a point on a perpendicular bisector, then that point equidistant, uh, equidistant, yeah, I had it right. equidistance to the points of your line segment. Anybody have any questions on that? Guys, you're going to, like I, like I, I, 